In today's video, we're going to make the most adorable cat and bird block. This is another great free pattern from tildesworld.com. So, are you ready? Let's get started. So here is our layout and cutting diagram for the large cat block. Use your diagram and cut out all of your pieces ahead of time. I used lots of scraps. Okay, so in order to make part of your cat's body, you'll have to print out the templates for the large cat and the small cat. You'll print out your templates with letter size paper. The large cat, you'll have to tape some of the pieces together. Then you will put that on top of your fabric and cut it out with your rotary cutter. The next thing we're gonna do is curved piecing. It's very simple, don't be intimidated. It does have some marks on the pattern that you can put on your fabric and match them up if you need to. But I'm gonna show you on the sewing machine how simple it is to do curved piecing. Okay, so now that we have the back of our cat and our background fabric, the two pieces that are curved, sewn together, we're going to take the strip of fabric that's our cat's tail. We're going to sew that first onto it. And then we're going to work on the chest piece at the top and the legs. Okay, so as you can see in the diagram, how the pieces are going to go together next. So I'm making two large cat blocks in this video. So here is my fabrics for the front of my cats, my, uh, the front of the body and the two legs for two cat blocks. And I'm just going to chain piece them together now. we have the tip of our tail sewn together we're going to lay out the pieces for our bird he's going to perch on the tip of our cat's tail so I made the half square triangles and then I laid out the pattern just like it is in the layout and you sew all of your pieces together to form your bird block okay so now that we have our head block made our bird block made we're going to join the pieces for the top of our cat. So we'll join that sashing to the top of the bird block, and then we'll sew that together to the head. So now that we have the two sections of our cat block made, the top of our cat and the base of our cat, we'll sew the head to the body, and then we will put sashing around our blocks. Okay, so here are the two large cats that I made out of my scraps. So after you put your sashing all the way around your blocks, what you need to do next is go back to your pattern and cut out your templates for the rosy cheeks and the nose and the eyes. So what I did is I looked for some scrap fabrics that were just small pieces and then I took heat and bond and I trace the template onto heat and bond paper and then I iron that paper to my scrap pieces of fabric then I cut them out and then I placed them on my cat's face and then I iron them down okay everyone so that's it it's that simple to make 
Use up those super cute scrap fabrics you have. As you can see, I did coordinate some of the things on my cats, like my ears, my chest, and my tail are the same fabric. And then the bird and the collar on the cat is the same fabric. But other than that, I used just scraps and I went with it and I love the way they turned out. This block is so cute, you guys. You can do this as a huge quilt with the large and the small cats alternating. You can do it as a table runner, pillows, you name it. I hope you do it. And th don't forget, the pattern is free. Go to tildasworld.com. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Like and subscribe to Grandma's channel. Like and subscribe to Grandma's channel.